What up? It's your boy NWP and we're back at it once again with another video and obviously the title and the thumbnail give this one away as we've got some information regarding what could be the next weapon in Apex Legends. That's right. It looks like the team had themselves had accidentally leaked a new weapon to the public along with the patch notes and evolution trailer yesterday so the new collection event has some interesting stuff in it that have nothing to do with the collection event but obviously guys if you enjoy the channel how about taking the time right now to like this video and if you're new smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video but let's get into this one i will provide links in the description where you can check out all this information for yourself if you'd like to but this is a weird topic because we do know of a few weapons at this point that are in the game files that have not yet been released one of them including what is known as the hailstorm which is expected to be an lmg and what was originally thought to be an energy burst pistol but that seems to be a very misconceiving kind of situation as what we've seen in the trailer right here seems to suggest it's an energy burst ar by the name of nemesis now the question is would the hailstorm have been re renamed to nemesis that's very much possible when we look at the rampage you know originally being called the dragon lmg in the actual game files so it's a possibility that this could be the new weapon obviously a placeholder is being used in the the actual game files at the moment when we look at what was leaked to the public hopefully we'll get a little bit more information as time goes on with leaks that suggest you know a little more information about this weapon potentially with this 10.1 patch coming out there may be even more information regarding this specific weapon in the game files and i'm sure we'll find out even more about it but what we can currently tell about it is that it's clearly a burst weapon because it says nemesis burst ar very similar to the hemlock how it says burst ar but also we can tell that it has an extended energy mag and that right there is very telling as to what the weapon is most likely going to be like now the question is is it going to be just another hemlock or are they going to do something a little unique with the burst kind of like we, we see with the prowler uh you know that's a very very unique question and very difficult to answer there's so many ways to do burst fire it could be a two round burst you know that repeater tap kind of idea and it, it could be the m16 style three round burst that we already see with the hemlock or it could be a four or five round burst similar to what's often shown for the m8 in most fps games that feature said weapon so it's a unique problem to be talking about in particular however i think it's something that would actually fill a niche role and is looking at the changes to the hemlock they may be trying to make some burst weaponry a little more attractive to the average player than it currently is and i would personally like to see more weapons than even legends and that's just me i know maybe a lot of you guys agree with me maybe a lot of you don't agree with me but I really like when new weapons are added to the game, regardless if I actually like the weapon or not. I like the idea of variety and picking up new stuff and learning new stuff. So things like the season 10 changes where a whole bunch of weapons are, you know, completely shifted around. A new weapon is added and weapons are changed significantly, but they also leave a bunch of weapons nearly perfectly the same as they were in previous seasons. I think there is a lot to be said about that and how good it actually feels in game. So I'm personally excited for more weapons and seeing that there is, you know, the team playing with other weapons actively in test lets me know that there is definitely a future for a lot more items here in Apex Legends. Now the question does remain, how do we deal with more weapons being added to the game, let alone just more items in general? And that's going to be, in my mind, <clears throat> probably inevitably, we're going to see the bow check go into a care pack eventually and probably have its itemization, you know, kind of stuck with that idea. And that'll remove two hop ups and an item from the map. And, you know, that's a lot of actual 
like open space in the loot pool for us to get you know a lot of different stuff added in as we saw with <clears throat> this current patch how changing a few things around alone made quite a bit of room for new weaponry in apex legends but obviously guys we have an event coming up very soon here and we've done an entire video on the patch notes so if you want to check out that video make sure you do the link will be in the description down below for you to check out as well as in the corner here because honestly there is quite a bit of changes coming in this upcoming patch some huge changes specifically to the revtain combo and i kind of agree with that specifically right now with the changes to rampart coming could you imagine a revtain push happening that had no audio but sheila was coming after you through the sky i think that's a little bit uh worrisome and i'm a rampart main so i can see reasonings why certain things were changed but i'm still against that idea personally would like to see more synergy options added to apex legends rather than removed so for me seeing more stuff added into the game that effectively makes the game um compel you to play in combination pairs of legends or trios of legends i think would be a really really beneficial um element of strategy to the game and so i i really like to see that kind of stuff and while you know i understand that when there's only uh, octane and revenant and no real counter to that setup it is much more difficult now if time would tell a different story and we got something like a hard counter to revtain that would be an interesting option or if people started to find other really good synergy options that would also be a great option for apex legends but guys it's that time drop a comment down below because we have a speculative situation here we don't know much about the actual upcoming nemesis burst ar but we know that it is an energy weapon we know that it's an ar and we know that it is burst so there is quite a bit of information there that we do have so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you think about the Nemesis weaponry. Do you think that this is going to be the next big thing? Are you waiting for this weapon? Or would you prefer something else to be added to the game entirely? Drop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this particular matter. And if you'd like to continue this conversation, head on over to the social media links. They will be in the description and up on the screen for you to check out if you feel so inclined. But if you do, in fact, head over to them social media links, make sure that you give me a like, a favorite, a follow, and make sure you say something that's interesting to, so that we can get some discussion about Apex Legends or any of the other upcoming games. As you know, we do, in fact, have a Battlefield beta coming up very soon, as well as a Vanguard beta, if I'm not mistaken, for Call of Duty, which I don't, honestly, after playing that... Uh, champion hill or whatever it was called i not really gonna be excitedly looking for the new call of duty i might play the beta just to play something different but i'm most likely not going to be picking that game up as something to play however on the same you know hand of new games coming out there i'm definitely going to be picking up the battlefield uh 2042 uh, whatever the, the top copy is that they have available with you know the the expansions already unlocked and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get some of that stuff and maybe get a community server popping on battlefield see what we can get going because i do in fact love me some battlefield and hopefully it's going to be as exciting as it's sounded at least in you know the promotional spiels that they've been you know spitting out at us so hopefully that thing is awesome but uh you know remains to be seen obviously next gen is changing the, the way gaming is uh perceived in, in the console genre right now especially if battlefield is able to hit 120 frames per second as you know these next gen consoles are in fact capable of so it would be very very interesting to see where this holiday season goes with gaming but uh, yeah, this was uh, like everybody on the team had a uh, res shield. So it was uh, one of these back and forth moments. And of course I used one myself. So very clutch amount of chess going on here at the end of this game. 
But here's another video you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, guys, you won't be able to check out any new weaponry, whether it be the Hailstorm, the Nemesis, or anything in between, if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.